It's time now for the latest in local sports and sports. We've got high school football this evening at 7 p.m. As you guys have a spring scrimmage game with Effingham County taking place at J.C. Stadium. WIFO film will broadcast the scrimmage tonight with our pregame getting away at 645. Admission price for the scrimmage is $5 at the gate. Head coach Ken Cripp says at 5 p.m. the two middle schools will play one another as well. Band and cheerleaders expect to be on hand. Come one, come all. Watch the Yellow Jacket scrimmage this afternoon or this evening at JC Stadium. Again, the players have been getting ready for the past few weeks. This will be a look at the fall team. Jackets open up on August 22nd in the Irk Russell Classic in Statesburg against the Blue Devils of Statesburg in Paulson Stadium. Still in Region 15A this coming season with Ware, Warner Robins, Coffee, and Veterans, a five team region. And the spring football game tonight at JC Stadium, kickoff at 7 p.m. Again, we'll be on the air at 6.45 this evening. A couple of sports banquets set for this coming week. The high school baseball banquet team will have their banquet at Coastal Pines Technical College on Monday evening at 7. The Jackets will say goodbye to nine seniors, celebrate another region championship and a trip to the Elite Eight. Also next Wednesday at 1.30 at the high school auditorium, three seniors will sign scholarships to continue their baseball career and education. Zach Thomas, Blake Brockington, and Tyler Dennis all set to sign scholarships on Wednesday at the high school. Golf banquet set for Wednesday, May 26th at the Pine Forest Country Club, 6.30 p.m. Steak dinner tickets are being pre-sold and $25 each for the steak dinner. For tickets, call the Pro Shop at 427-6505 or call 294-3172. High school baseball finals, some getting underway this weekend. Others next week, Loganville plays Stars Mill next week in Atlanta at Truist Field. For the championship, Loganville playing for history as the Red Devils looking for their fourth straight title. And six overall, if they win their four straight title, it will be the first time a program has won four in a row since Richmond Academy, which won six consecutive titles in baseball from 1951 to 1956. Stars Mill attempted to win its first ever state title in baseball. In double A, Jeff Davis gets underway this Saturday down at Grayson Stadium, taking on Lovett. That doubleheader gets underway Saturday at 5 p.m. at Grayson Stadium. If the games are split, the Monday if game is set for Monday, but the time has not been set as of yet. Today in Savannah, the single-A public final begins between Metter High School and Gordon Lee. That doubleheader gets underway today at 5 p.m. And Loganville and Stars Mill play at Truist Field on May 26th with a doubleheader at 5 p.m. Major League Baseball last night, the Pirates beat the Braves Thursday 6-4. to Two teams play again tonight and over the weekend. PGA Championship underway in South Carolina. Corey Connors has the lead at 500 par. But Phil Mickelson, day one, 200 par on the leaderboard. Rex scoreboard from Thursday, 8U softball, Odom 7, Dirt Diamond 6, 10U softball, Odom 10, Jackets 7, 12U softball, Jackets 4, Bulldogs 2. And finally in sports, it's official. Tim Tebow signs a one-year deal with the Jacksonville Jaguars, $5 million to play tight end for his former coach, Urban Meyer. His jersey already on sale. Gator Nation purchasing them as fast as they can be printed. National media losing their mind over the signing, calling it a publicity stunt and not giving Tebow much of a chance to make the team. But Tebow committed to prove all the critics wrong, and Urban Meyer loves Tebow, considers him family. Ticket sales are up. Tebow mania alive and well. It's a win-win for the Jaguars. And Tebow, and T- Tim Tebow, signs a one-year deal to play tight end for the Jacksonville Jaguars. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports. sports.